Right, Jeff, one all draw against Oxford on Tuesday. Probably come off thinking you should have won it. What, what were your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I thought we'd done really well. I thought we reacted reacted well from the weekend. Um, yeah, we was disappointed, especially, especially the way we played in the first half. We uh, we really should have put them to bed. Um, but that's football, and we've got to go again uh, Saturday because the games are coming quick and, quick and fast. Compared to the Berry game, it was you know, altogether more enjoyable oh, performance yeah, to watch. Was, them. Um, we knew against Berry, we, we weren't at the races. We, for whatever reason, we, we, we didn't turn up. Um, it wasn't good enough, and I think we owed everyone, plus ourselves, a, a performance, which I think we gave Tuesday. As, as you said, we were all disappointed coming in at full time with a 1 1 draw against a relatively good team. So. So it's, we've got to take the positives from that. Yeah, another goal for Wes Thomas, and you, you stood right next to him when he headed it in, weren't you? You yeah. got quite a good view of it. But to be honest, I was on the floor. I, could have, I think all four of us went for it, and uh, I didn't have a clue where the board got. And then I heard a few cheers, and that looked in the net, and it was in there. But that's what Wes does, and uh, he's, he's doing great for us. So, so long may it continue. Yeah, we, we've spoken about it when you first signed that you played with Wes at Fisher Athletic, and that you definitely do seem to have a, an understanding up there. And um, what, yeah. what sort of what do you think it makes it so effective? Um, I think because we're, we're we're so different. I think um, we know Wes's strengths and we know my strengths, um, and I think we complement each other quite well. Um, we kind of a few games. We've obviously I was ill at the time, and we we haven't played together for a few weeks. And I think Tuesday we kind of re saw what we can we can do together. We just got to kind of uh, do that on a on a regular basis, and, and I'm sure we'll score a few goals. Yeah, you, you did cause some problems in the second half up to the goal. Do you think that that really was the turning point? Did, did it knock the wind out of yourselves a bit when Oxford equalised? I think it did, but then again, I, I don't think we should really use that as an excuse. I mean, we we are a young team, but we're professional footballers, and we've got to react to things like that. Um, I think if it, in a way it was a game of two halves. First half we probably should have put them to bed as I said and uh, after their goal they come out and really really got at us um, but I think I've, I don't think we was under too much too much trouble and I don't think they ever looked like really getting the winner because it was it was an open game but um, I think I think we've got to, we've got to try and perform for the full 90 minutes yeah. um, so far Wes has got seven goals and you've, you've a lot of your work's been helping other people score or you know a lot of your work seems to go unnoticed is that something you're happy to, yeah, to play that unsung role. Yeah, I don't mind that. Um, as long as Wes keeps getting them goals, I'm sure I'll chip in with a, with a good few. I felt I probably should have had a couple on Tuesday night, which was a bit of a disappointment for me. I think the keeper made a good save, and um, the one in the first, I think I should have probably scored. But I'm, I'm sure the goals will come. As you said, um, just got to keep working hard. As, as long as I perform like I did for the first kind of 60, 70 minutes on Tuesday on a regular basis, I'm, I'm sure the goals will come, and, and I'll be a good asset to the team. You've played against Stevenage and Oxford already this season. You've come out of the conference, and on Saturday it's older shot, another club that have come up from non-league recently. And you, you know all about coming out of non-league. Do you think players who, who come into the leagues from, from from outside are sort of hungrier, maybe you know, not yeah. taking it for granted at all when they come up? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's a bit of that cliche. They're always hungry. I think I think it, it does kind of um, kind of. If when they've had a nine to five job, they realise what what being a footballer is is about now. Um, so you kind of appreciate that a little bit more than maybe someone that's come through a through a higher club and dropped down. Um, but again, all the are a good team. They they like to play football. I've got a few good friends there, um, so I'm sure it'll be a, an entertaining game. Yeah. Which which of their players do you know? Well? Uh, Marvin Morgan, a striker who um, I've had on the phone a few times this week already. So uh, she'd be interested. He's a he's a good player. So hopefully Gallas and uh, Steve will keep him keep him under wraps. Um, I played with a few of them in the uh, England C team, Ben Harding, and uh, so it should, it'd be a good game. They're, they're good players and they're doing pretty well. They've had a few good results. Yeah, the the formation you played on Tuesday with two two genuine central yeah. midfielders and two wide men that that really seemed to suit. You know, you got a lot more balls into you than you did against Yeah, Barry, definitely. Um, I think the diamonds worked worked really well for us this season. Um, but the gaffer changed it up, and with the players we had on on the on the night, it really worked. Um, I thought Birdie and Pookie in the centre done really well and I think we just we had two banks of four when, when we did lose the ball and we looked a lot more solid and, and not like every time people were attack, um, going to score on us. Um, but as you said, it does it does create that little bit of space for me in the hole, not having someone in a diamond. Um, and yeah, I think, it, I think it did pay off. And do you think that could help you away as well when you've got to go, go to places and shut yeah, up definitely. shop when you need to? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's... <laughs> It's very easy to say after a good performance that the formation helped, but I think it really did. And um, 
I think there's going to be games where we we play four four two games. We have the diamond it's down to the gaffer, but I think, as you said, it works. It works, Tuesday, so we can't be finding it in the future. Yeah, when you came off against Oxford, what was the change room like? Because you you had a much better performance than Berry, but were, were people disappointed? Yeah, I mean, I for one was was really disappointed, and not because we didn't play well, but felt we should have got the three points. Um, I think everyone had that general feeling, but. But at the same time, everyone was delighted with the way, as I said, we reacted from Saturday. And, and I think we've done it for each other. I think we saw on Tuesday night a, a real team performance for one another. Yeah, and the manager said that's the minimum required now. As long as you yeah, maintain yeah. those standards, you'll, yeah, you'll be definitely. all right, you? I mean, you've seen it a few times this, this season already. We've, um, we've, had our, we've had our really good games and we've had our really bad games. Um, I think people probably forget we've, we've kind of all been thrown together and we're only what, eight, nine games into the season. So it is going to... We are going to have games like that, but at the end of the day, we've got a, we've got a minimum requirement for the for the work rate as it is, rather than the performance. So yeah, I think after after Tuesday, that's what we've got to aim for.